Hey, it's Mr. Eason with Homework Help. Today we're going to look at a new strategy for adding fractions, and it's called a double number line. So we're going to read this word problem and talk about how the double number line can work. Uh, Emmett is preparing for a race by running a trail. She walks one-tenth of the trail and runs one-fourth of the trail. What fraction of the trail has she traveled? So we've learned about how to do money on a or with fractions, learn how to do clocks with fractions, but sometimes you got to use something else. And uh, we're going to look at a double number line. This is going to be most similar to what parents have learned for adding fractions. So we're going to draw ourselves a number line. And the next thing we're going to think about is what distance of the tra could this trail be? Like what distance would be a good number for the trail? Um, what number plays nicely with 10 and 4? And better math terminology would be what is a common multiple of 10 and 4? And so maybe you choose 20. Uh, so on the bottom of the number line, we're going to put our zero, which is the beginning of the trail, and our 20, maybe kilometers or miles, that's the end of our trail. On the top, we're going to put fractions. So we're going to have zero part of the trail and a whole trail that they have traveled. All right, so next thing is we are going to put our one-tenth that she walked on the trail. So we're going to draw ourselves a nice little line. We're going to put a one-tenth up top. And the next question is, what is one-tenth of 20? Meaning, you know, if she's gone one-tenth of 20 kilometers, how much has she traveled? Well, she's traveled two kilometers, so we're going to put a two here. All right? Next thing, we are going to travel one-fourth of the trail. So what is one-fourth of 20? It's five. And so we're going to draw ourselves another little fraction jump. We're going to have our one-fourth up here. We're going to add 5, and then if you're at 2 kilometers and you go 5 more kilometers, you are at what number? Well, you're at 7 kilometers. Okay, so this is all the math we have to do. Our answer to what fraction of the trail she has traveled would be 7 twentieths, because she's gone 7 out of the 20 possible kilometers. Okay, so we're going to write that up. 7 twentieths is our answer. Now, this would work with any number that is a multiple of um, 4 and 10. You could have used 40, 60, 80, 100, any of those. But 20 is the smallest, so we used a 20. We're going to look at two more examples before we're done. Uh, the next one we're going to look at is 1 fifth plus 1 seventh. Uh, this is a good one to look at because you can't do clocks or money with fifths and sevenths. It just doesn't work. So we'll try this double number line strategy. So we're thinking right now what number would work with fifths and sevenths. We know that we're going to go 0 and 1. And I'm thinking 35 would work because it's a common multiple. So we're going to first travel 1 fifth of the distance. And we're thinking, what is 1 fifth of 35? Well, it's 7. And then we're going to travel another 7th of the distance. And 1 seventh of the trail would be 5 more kilometers or miles or whatever. So 7 plus 5 is going to get you 12. And so uh, this person has gone 12 35ths of the trail, or the answer to 1 5th plus 1 7th is 12 35ths. All right? And you can kind of see how this relates to that common denominator thing. Um, if we were doing this with just common denominators, uh, 1 5th would turn into 7 35ths, and 1 7th would turn into 5 35ths, and you'd add 7 35ths plus 5 35ths, and you get that 12 35ths. So we're really getting to that point where we can use that common denominator thing. And after a couple of days of practicing with this number line strategy, they'll be able to choose to use it or not. Well, let's look at one more example. 3 fifths plus 1 third. So once again, I'm going to draw myself a number line. I'm going to get my 0 and my 1 on top. I'm going to get my zero and then whatever a good number for fifths and thirds would be. I'm thinking 15. So now we're going to travel three fifths first. So we're thinking what is three fifths of 15? Well, one fifth of 15 is three. So three of those would be nine. So we're going to be at nine already. Now we're going to travel one more third. So you're thinking, what is one-third of 15? It's 5, so you're going to add 5 to this. And if you're at 9 and you're adding 5 more, you get to 14. So the answer to 3 fifths plus one-third is 14 fifteenths. 
Once again, we're getting really close to that common denominator strategy. We're just trying to visualize it a little bit and see how it works. Uh, good luck with your homework, and I'll see you in class tomorrow.